It's Fit and 50 here, and I would just like to uh, wish my wife a happy birthday. She turned uh, 50 last week, so we get to welcome her officially into the Fit and 50 Club. As a matter of fact, the Fit and 50 Club is pretty inclusive, but I consider all those ones who are in their 50s and fit to be kind of like part of the executive core of the Fit and 50 Club, so it's always great to have another member. Now, it's an interesting week because it's also Canada's birthday, and they turned 150 this year, so they've been 53 times in a row. You can't get much more experience at being fit and in your 50s than that. And of course, Independence Day is coming right up. So happy birthday, America. Happy birthday, Canada. And happy birthday, Rosita. Now, if you'd like to wish my wife a happy birthday, just leave it in the comments and I'll make sure she sees each and every one of your comments. Now, with all these birthdays coming up, and everybody getting a little bit older, it got me wondering, what does aging mean to you? One of the things that has happened to me as I've gotten older is that my view toward aging has changed. I've come to realize that age is really just the passing of time. It has nothing to do with the age of your heart or even your biological age. Your biological age is connected to the length of the telomeres on your chromosomes. And as time goes on, these telomeres wear and shorten. And then your chromosomes lose the effectiveness to uh, divide properly and replenish the tissues that they are designed to uh, replenish. But the good news is, you can in fact increase the length of those telomeres to improve diet and exercise. When I'm talking about diet, I'm not talking about losing weight, or at least not with regards to telomeres. I mean, depending on your individual circumstance, losing weight may or may not be beneficial to you. But as far as telomeres is concerned, it's all about eating better. So in that case, there is really a connection or seems to be a connection between omega-3 fatty acids and telomere length, as well as a strong connection between whole food eating and avoiding processed foods and longer, healthier telomeres. So we may like our strength training, but when it comes to telomeres, it's all about the aerobic training. Studies have indicated that to uh, aid in telomere length and growing your telomeres back, aerobic training works best. And at a moderate intensity, something that would be like a light jog or a fast walk for about 45 minutes three times a week. Alternatively, you could do HIIT training three times a week for 20 to 30 minutes for similar benefits. But when they compared the moderate training intensity to the training of an ultramarathoner, they found that it made no difference in telomere length. So more isn't always better. Aging has become somewhat of an abstract concept, meaning something a little bit different to each and every person. But if we maintain a positive attitude, focusing on improving our lives as well as improving the lives of others, it will keep our hearts and our minds forward thinking, living not only in the now, but looking forward toward the future. Birthday cake, birthday cake, everybody wants some birthday cake, birthday cake, birthday cake, everybody loves some birthday cake.